my name is Anne. I'm a graduate student at the University of Pennsylvania and I work for Dr. Peterson. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the molecular biology technique called bacterial transformation in our molecular bio labs. So what we're going to do is first we're going to mix some cells and some DNA together. Now our cells are in this tube. You can see this is a very small volume and we use these pipettes that can um, suck up small volumes and move them around that we couldn't normally do with a regular um, iPad. So here are my cells. You have to keep them on ice the entire time, keep them stable. I'm going to put it into a secondary tube. where the DNA literally gets sucked into the bacterial cells because the bacterial cell membranes are now weaker at this temperature. So just for a little while we'll keep that on the heat block and then we'll chill it on ice. So it literally only has to be just a, uh, a few seconds and now we can put it back on ice and let the membrane get restored. So our cells have been chilling on ice for a couple minutes now and our next step is to put our cells at 37 degrees C for an hour to grow. And they need food to grow. And our growth media is right here, which I'm going to add into our cell DNA mixture. Um, growing all sorts of other types of cells on there because there's bacteria everywhere. We want to make 
make sure that we're only growing what we want. So the end of this um, spreader is now sterile. So I'm going to take a fraction of these cells. We don't need the whole volume. additional small molecule added into it. It's the LB, which is the nutrient media, the canamycin, which is the antibiotic, and the IPTG, which is the small molecule that causes the E. coli to want to make the GFP protein, and this is what you'll be doing in your classroom. So now I'm going to show you what you guys are going to do in your classroom. So what you'll do is you'll take a sterile toothpick out of a container, only hold one end of it, the sterile side is the one that you're not touching. You're going to use that side to pick up a colony. Any colony will do. Gently press against the plate to pick it up. You don't need a lot. And then you're going to open up the six well container, and each person's going to get their own well, and then you can spread it onto the well, like so. And then throw the toothpick in the biohazard waste. And what you're going to do is you're going to basically have your plates at room temperature for several days, and then you're going to see what happens. Well, hi, everyone. Uh, again, I'm Anne uh, at the University of Pennsylvania, and I wanted to thank you all for listening to my talk on bacterial transformation, and I look forward to meeting you at your school and working with you.